Hey there. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Charlie Brown. Now for this lesson we're probably just going to start with the shape of the head because it's essentially a circle but on the left side here we're going to leave a gap for his ear. So let's start at the top of the ear. I'm going to draw a circle and come back to my finger here. So starting on the left side here, I'm going to go up and just draw a circle. A smooth circle and then circle back towards my thumb. We're going to leave a gap. Okay, now you can go back in and close it off if you like, just kind of like make it a little bit tighter. And then from here, we're just going to draw a C shape for the ear. So starting at the top, I'm just going to curve around and draw a C, just like that. Now from here, we're going to move horizontally across and draw a backward C on the other side of the head. Just tuck in behind the head like that. From here, we're going to locate the center of the head. Okay, so if this is a circle, we're going to locate the center of the circle. Now this center is going to be actually this, the bottom part of the nose. So we're going to just draw a little dot. Now that's going to be the bottom part of the nose. And we're going to curve up to make a backward C. So let, with my pen, I'm just going to move up here. We're just going to go and draw a backward C, just like that, and just end up in the center of that circle. From here, we're going to move over to the left and draw a circle almost like an oval, and color that in black. To the right of the nose, we're just going to make another oval, color that in black. Now from here, we're going to draw some eyebrows. So just above the left eye, let's draw a little curve like this. And above the right eye, we're going to draw a little curve like that. And then up here, there's a little swirl for the hair. So starting on the outside, just above the eye, we're going to start and draw a little swirl in the center. Then we're going to come up and make a bigger sort of hook around the right side there. From here, we just simply want to make a big smile. So starting over here on the left side, drop our pen and draw a big curve going up like so. Let's get into the neck area. So just left of center, we're going to draw the neck. So in the back, we'll draw a line going straight down. And over here on the right, we'll draw a line going straight down. From here, we're just going to come down to a point, just like this. From here, let's draw in the collar. So from here I'm just going to draw an angle line going out, coming down at an angle, and then we're going to go up into that line. From here, we're going to go out, come down at an angle, and tuck this in on that line. Now for the body, it's basically like a bell shape. So in the front and the back, we're just going to curve down to the bottom of the pants. So the pants will come down to roughly about here. So just on the left side here, I'm just going to drop down a bit and curve down to where my finger is. On the right side, we're going to curve the opposite direction. So coming up here, curving down on the right side. From here, we're going to close off the bottom with a curve. So starting on the left, curve the bottom. And then we're going to go up a little bit and draw a curve for the pants. Now this is going to get colored in all black. Now let's draw on the front arm here. So the arm, basically the sleeve comes about halfway up the, down the body. So from the top here to the bottom here, we're just going to draw a straight line across. And we're going to draw a straight line up and just leave a little gap here. Now we're going to draw on the arms. So in the back here, where the uh, sleeve is, we're going to curve in. And now we're going to do a series of overlaps. So one finger, like a curve, come down here, draw a second curve, third curve, and then fourth curve, we're just going to curve right underneath that sleeve like that. Let's draw a little zigzag along his shirt. So up here we're going to start right beside his sleeve and come down. We're going to go up at an angle, come down, and then back up into the side of his shirt. Now we're going to make that twice as thick, so what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and make sure this bottom point and then this top point sort of match up. So you right here, to here, and then up like that. This is all going to get colored in black. If you want, you can actually go in here, just draw the back side of that sort of V right there. Let's draw the opposite arm. Now this arm gets tucked in behind the body, so you really won't see a lot of it. We're just going to curve out like this to about the same height as the sleeve on the left and draw a little line like that. From here we're just going to curve the arm behind the body like so. Let's draw the legs. So we're going to start with the left leg here. So I'm going to start right about here, come down, and we're going to make the leg quite wide. So we're just going to come down with the same length line, connect these two points with a curve. Now for the shoe, the shoe actually kind of looks like a loaf of bread. We're going to start with the back of the heel and curve around. From here, we're going to curve the bottom of the shoe 
and then we're going to curve back into the front. Now from here, we just want to draw a few maces. One, two, three. Let's draw the shoe in the back side. So we're going to draw a line coming down. So exactly the same thing that we have on the left. We're going to curve the bottom there. Now we're going to draw the top of the shoe and tuck this in behind the shoe on the left. And we're just going to draw three little laces like this. And we don't want to forget the socks up here. I'm just going to draw a straight line across with some socks like that. We're going to go ahead and color these in black. And that's essentially it. There we have it. There's Charlie Brown. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like and share this with your friends. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.